Hey guys, what's up? It's Emergency. Welcome back to my channel. I'm driving. Um, never done a car vlog before. This is like a first for that. Um, but I figured since I'm in a rush and um, I'm not going to say that I have this to upload tomorrow, but I have this to upload tomorrow. <laughs> right now I'm going to be doing a little something that you guys have been requesting for a while. And that is trying to give you guys some things to know, especially for the freshmen out there. Um, that are preparing to go into their freshman year of college. I'm sorry if this is shaky. It's like very not well supported. Basically the point of this video is I'm gonna be telling you guys what exactly you guys should be thinking of or what you should be um, working towards over your summer before you hop into your first year of college. One of those things being roommates. <laughs> I'm gonna speak specifically for GW for this instance, but like this can be really applied to every school. Make sure when you're picking your roommates, you're not trying to find like your best friend because usually when you try to find your best friend, you end up finding like your worst enemy. <laughs> and that's just like the tea. So instead of like finding people that are compatible in the sense of like, oh wow, you guys do the same things or you guys like the same things, um, if that's not a possibility for you, or if that's too hard, then just look for people that have similar schedules to you. So people that wake up at the same time, people that work the same amount, like try to find someone like in your major or something. Um, so they can understand and they have like the same level of work. That sounded confusing, but basically if you're a person that does work in your room, try to find someone who also does work in their room. So you guys are doing that at the same time. And if you're someone that does work outside of your room, like I am, try to find roommates that also work outside the room. So the room could be reserved as a place for like chilling, for relaxing and all that, as opposed to when you're done with work, you're coming home to chill, but like your roommate's still working and is still in there. So it's kind of just like, weirds up the mood. Just basically find roommates that are doing the same thing as you, um, schedule-wise. Where is this place? I'm trying to figure out where this bar is, because I'm supposed to go to a bar that my family is at. I just don't know where it is. Like, at all. I guess we're just driving around until we find it. <laughs> I'm also not a good driver. That's some more tea. Another thing is for classes, because around this time, um, it's actually time to start registering for classes. Um, I would say for that, to not just take prereqs for your first semester or first year. So don't just like slate up all of your prerequisites or like require classes that you need to take within your four years in your first semester, because there isn't really a point to that. Like, yes, I get it. You want to get all the things, all of your like required things out the way. That's like a real like high school mentality, but you shouldn't do that because college is a place for like enjoying your classes, enjoying what you're doing and prereqs aren't necessarily the funnest thing in the world. So I'd say to kind of like diversify it and take some um, prerequisites and then mix it in with some electives or some interesting courses that you may not have already taken, like you wouldn't have thought to take. Just diversify it so college can be fun, because I made the mistake of only taking prerequisites for the first and second semester and ended up hating it like I hated school. Like not like the GW or like the school, I hated learning. I heard I hated the academics because um, all that would be, all I do is like stuff I don't want to learn and that's not fun, that's high school, not college. So yeah, try and diversify that. And to go along with that, another piggyback on that, use Rate My Professor now. Don't wait until like you get to class or until the first day, use Rate My Professor now while you're still registering for classes and figure out if your professors are whack or not. And I know it may sound like rude or whatever. Or you may be like, no, that, it's not real. It's real, it's a real thing, do it. <laughs> use Rate My Professor because it will save you so much stress and anger towards professors that, no offense, like cannot teach to the way that you prefer to learn or like learn best. Just learning to like strategize and work smarter, not necessarily harder, that sounds bad, but like in the end, every class and the subject's gonna teach you the same thing more or less. It's like whether you want to have like a mental breakdown in that class or you just wanna be able to learn or you wanna be able to like really connect with the professor, that's why you use my professor to figure out if the professor is actually a nice person, like if they're available, if they're intimidating, if they're helpful in office hours, if they're very um, encouraging for questions or stuff like that, just like the general teaching style and how much work you can expect to get each semester. So yeah, use my professor and you'll thank me later. Another thing that you guys should be thinking about is um, 
friends. <laughs> I mean, I hope. But, like, or not necessarily friends, but, like, pre-semester friends. Like, summer friends. Because I know there's a bunch of group chats going on right now for pretty much every school. Like, different Facebook group chats, um, group me group chats, I don't know, Instagram, all of that. And there's a lot of people talking and saying, like, Oh, my God, we're going to be so close. We're going to be best friends. I love you so much already. I can't wait to spend the next four years with you. Those are the people that you're going to maybe talk to once and never see again. Because, because. I'm sure you know this from, like, other interactions being a millennial or Gen Z or whatever you may be. Probably Gen Z. <laughs> but relationships online are different from when they are in real life because like you get a different vibe from someone in real life versus online and people can be really different like people switch up so much and you'll figure that out if you think you can go into college with all 50 of your group me friends thinking that they're all going to stick around and be the popular kid like that's not how that works you're going to end up being really disappointed when you find out that none of them actually want to talk and you end up having like maybe two people to really talk to that you weren't really that close with in the group chat to begin with <laughs> try to expand or not necessarily expand but like realize or understand that the people you meet in the group chats aren't necessarily people gonna that you're gonna be friends with when you actually get there so be nice like meet them get to know them no names so when you actually do meet them it's not awkward you're actually like oh yeah i know you from the group chat so you have something to talk about but like as far as being like your bestie <laughs> before you even get there nah that ain't it um what other advice can i give you <laughs> i literally have no idea where i am or where i'm going i'm going to have to like call my dad because i don't know where i'm supposed to meet him another thing from like personal experience i know a lot of schools have early um move in for like different things so they have like different programs so there's like at gw there's like lead gw there's community building community or like cbc um and there's one other one that i can't really remember try those out those are really fun like sign up for those because one you get to move in early which is always nice because trust me you do not want to move in on move-in day like i know how weird that sounds but like move-in day is hectic at any school and if you can avoid that and just already be moved in and comfortable and just like watch all the chaos go on behind you enjoying just another day in the life of college then why not do that why limit yourself so yeah um try and do some of those programs because it's also a great way to get to know people um and a great way to have like some good first week friends because you're gonna have first week friends already might as well have people in a group where you already have something to talk about because you can cut some of the awkwardness of like trying to be like oh hi how are you what's your name oh that's another thing that's another thing be prepared for your like first week awkward conversations literally every conversation you're gonna have with anyone is like hi what's your name where are you from what dorm are you living in what's your major that's going to be the prerequisite for literally every conversation that you start your first, maybe even month of college. There's literally nothing else to talk about before you really know that because everyone's super awkward and has no one to talk to. So, um, yeah. Just get those things down so you're not just there thinking. Not that you would. Or, I don't know, you might be as awkward as me or... So my phone fell. I'm trying to hold on and drive at the same time. Mom, please don't hate me. Police, please don't arrest me. Oh, Jesus. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and fix it at this stoplight right here. All right, we're back. <laughs> um, but yeah, get those things down um, just so you can like say hi and like introduce yourself. Cause I don't know if you're as awkward as me. I remember the first couple of times people asked me, I like waited, was like, what's your name? I was like, I don't know, Rumi, <laughs> emergency. <laughs> Another thing is do your research into your school. Like, especially if you haven't visited your school yet, take the time to look on their website and figure out what the campus looks like, what the most popular buildings are like. So when you get there, you're not dumbfounded, like confused, just like, where is everything? Because at least if you're in GW, know where District is, know where Kogan is, and know where Thurston is, and how to get to the Vern. Those four things, and you'll be set for like your first month, because that's like really all you need to know. Like you can find out where your classes are just by like asking people around those areas. So this is like the four major hubs of your first year. So. Yeah, I don't know what it's like at other campuses, but just know where your quad is, know where your cafeteria is, and know where your dorm is. And then just figure it out from there. I think that is all that I have right now for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of this car vlog. I'm sorry that my camera's shaking and that everything is flying all over the place, but like, 
quality content. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the roommates. Follow me on all my socials and TikTok. And I will see you guys next time. Oh, how do I do this in drive? Oh yeah, that's a cop too. Please don't pull me over. All right, I think we're good. So yeah, see you guys later.